Good morning YouTube, welcome back to my channel. In today's video I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about Venus flytrap care, mainly focusing on summer care because that's what we're going into now. Uh, Venus tra flytraps are a temperate carnivorous plant, so despite what people say or what people do, they're not suited for a window sale whatsoever. They're not suited for indoors really whatsoever. In the summertime Venus flytraps like it really really warm and bright. They like full sun, good heat and it really um, gets them growing fast and basically what I'm going to do today is just sort of talk about their their care uh, we're here in my little temperate mini greenhouse where it gets nice and warm it stays nice and humid and they seem to be thriving here this was a mixed pot of Venus fly traps that I got last year unfortunately none of them had tags but I see some red dragons in there and some green dragons and there's probably some big mouths and some B-52s in there. And they've just come out of dormancy in the last couple months. And they're really starting to take off now that the weather is really, really hot. They've only been in this greenhouse a month. But I can see tremendous difference here. So we'll just have a quick couple shots of them. You can see they're eating. You can see they've caught a couple flies and actually opened their mouth back up after. I guess they digested what they needed to and then, then reopened. Um, some of the moss that's around the edges looks a little bit dry, but I actually think that that is from not um, washing the peat properly. The peat moss that's in there is probably just um, leaching back up and sucking up like a sponge some of the, the tannins that are in it. So no real harm there. But this is going to be an interesting pot when it's bigger. I'm really looking forward to that. So as for temperatures, they like it really warm. The greenhouse here, as you can see from this guy, this is a min-max thermometer. The daytime high gets around 100 or just under 40 Celsius. And you can see the low, and we're pretty much at the low right now. And you read the low in reverse, so it's about 17 Celsius or 63, 65 Fahrenheit. So that is sort of the temperature range that they are experiencing here. Um, I try to get it up to that high temperature every day if I can. They just love it. And these guys get blasted from sun from about noon to sunset. So they get a good 8 or 10 hours of sun right now. Really good. They are growing super fast because of it. Um, I have cut off any flower stalks that have appeared. I don't want them wasting their energy on that. I'm not interested in seeds. They have little white flowers. Not all that impressive, so once you've seen a Venus flytrap flower, unless you're wanting to collect seeds, I would recommend just cutting them right off. Now traps are going to stay beautiful like this right until the fall. And we're not going to go into fall care, we're just going to stay in summer care. But the other thing I wanted to show you here, and I'm going to back you up, move some stuff around a little bit, put my phone down, hopefully so in a spot where we can see it. And go over to here. Hopefully this works out. So this is, I think, one of the best things you can do for your Venus flytraps. This is the Weather Network app. It doesn't matter what app you use, but find a weather app and punch in Wilmington, North Carolina. Now, this is where a lot of the Venus flytraps come from. They grow here, that's their native habitat. They grow there naturally. And so, when you have this app going, you're going to be able to follow what your Venus flytrap's weather pattern should be like. And what people don't realize is these are not a tropical plant, although in the summer it gets really, really hot. In the winter it also gets cold. So what I'd recommend doing is following this. Have it in your um, just one of your cities that you follow on your weather app, whatever it is on your phone. And just follow it from now until this time next year and see what weather patterns they actually have. So you can see currently it is 32 degrees. It feels like 41 degrees. Humidity is 71%. And you can even see the sunrise and the sunset so you know exactly um, what the weather is going to be like. You can scroll up and you can see what they have for afternoon highs. Their night times are very warm. See, my night times are, are cooler than they need to be this time of year. They like. Venus flytraps would grow much better this time of year if I could keep the, the weather um, or the temperature up in the, the um, nighttime. But here is basically what their weather looks like for the next little while. Highs of 30. Now these apps, it usually gets higher, hotter than what it actually says. So, you know, 
for Sunday's 35 degrees, Monday 35 degrees, Tuesday 35, 36 degrees, 36. So these guys like it really, really hot. So that's what you need to replicate for now. But remember, come winter, these guys are going to want to go dormant. Those numbers are drastically going to change and they're going to hover around zero. So once they're hovering around zero, you can't still have them in the house where your nighttime lows are 70 or Fahrenheit or 20 Celsius because they need it much cooler. They need to go dormant. At that time, the traps are going to go black. They're going to go to sleep for a while and come back next year. So you have to store them where they can be cooler. If you live in a tropical country and you're trying to grow them, um, it's tough trying to grow stuff where, where it doesn't naturally belong, where you don't get a winter time. So anyways, that is just a few tips and tricks, some care guide for Venus flytraps for summertime. Remember to check out any of the apps and download or follow Wilmington, North Carolina and then you will know exactly what weather your venus flytraps need so i hope you liked this video and if you want to see more videos like this make sure you subscribe to my channel as always thanks for watching